So let's learn how to solve a system of uh, ODEs using the elimination method. So the problem we consider is so. Uh, so the problem is uh, let's say solve the system. Solve the system uh, x prime equal six y. Uh, y prime equal x minus y. So this is the system we're going to solve. So the problem is when you get a system like that, and you can see that you cannot solve one equation alone. So you cannot just solve the first equation because they are uh, y, there's a y term. Y depend on the other equation. So what you have to do is uh, we need to kind of remove one variable. So we try to get an equation only in one variable and we solve that and then we use the that answer to solve for the other so we can do this problem using uh, in uh, two different ways the first one is you can take the derivative of the first equation or you can take this i'm going to call these two equations are equation one and equation two so it's uh, easy to refer so the one way to do is you can take the derivative of the first equation or the other way is you can take the derivative of the second equation. So let's try to take the derivative of the first equation. So the answer, so what we can do, um, we can differentiate. So differentiate uh, equation one, equation one uh, with respect to t, with respect to the t variable t is the um, independent variable so if you do that you're going to get x double prime equal 6 y prime now what we can do we know y prime from the second equation so we can substitute for that sorry 6 y prime equal x minus y now we can distribute this so we can write this one as 6 x minus 6 y so since we are looking for an equation in x only, we can leave this first term, but for 6y, you can substitute from the first equation again. So that means this simply becomes 6x. 6y is equals to x prime from the first equation. Now you can see that this equation only has x, so we're going to bring all the terms to one side. So we can write this one as x double prime plus x prime minus 6x equal 0. We know how to solve these kind of equations. This is a constant coefficient second order differential equation. How we do it? We look at the characteristic equation. So the characteristic equation, uh, the characteristic uh, characteristic equation uh, is uh, lambda squared plus lambda minus 6 equals 0. This is very easy to factor. So the factors are lambda plus 3 and lambda minus 2 equals 0. This is going to give you uh, the lambda values from the first one you're going to get negative 3. From the second one you're going to get 3. So those are the lambda values. Now what we can do, we can write the general solution for x. So let's write the general solution for x now. Uh, so we can write so that then our uh, xt which is a function of t so we write xt you can just write x that's okay and a constant e to the uh, negative 3t plus c to e to the 2t so it doesn't matter which one you write first so that is the solution of x now what we can do is you know that in the first equation you have a relation x prime equals 6y we can use that equation to find y easily so now by one by equation one we can write 6y which is simply equals to x prime what does that mean you just take the derivative of the answer that you already have so just take the derivative so if you take the derivative you're going to get negative 3 c1 e to the negative 3t because the constant comes out and again here 2c2 e to the 2t 
Now what we will do, we will isolate y, so just divide by 6 both sides, so that means y equal, if you divide by 6, you will get negative uh, 1 half uh, c1 e to the negative 3t plus, if you divide by 6, you get 1 third c2 e to the 2t. So that is the solution of y. So we solve for x and y. So if you want, you can combine them and write like therefore. That's a kind of good way to finish the problem. Therefore, xt equal c1 e to the negative 3t plus c2 e to the 2t. And yt, which is negative 1 half c1 e to the negative 3t plus 1 third c2 e to the 2t. So that's the solution of the system. And we are c1 and c2 are a constants, constants uh, to be determined by, uh, to be, you can say, to be uh, determined by, to be determined by the initial conditions, the initial conditions. Initial conditions. So um, this is how we can solve a system using the elimination method.